today we'll be discussing ultra structure of fungal cell wall this cell wall is a structure that encases the fungal cell protecting it against the osmotic pressure inside the cell thus conferring mechanical protection and maintaining the cellular shape disruption of the cell wall structure has a large impact on fungal cell survival causing the rupture of the plasma membrane and cell lysis the fungal cell wall is a dynamic organelle whose composition greatly influences the ecology of the fungus its composition is highly regulated in response to environmental conditions and imposed stresses in most fungal species the inner cell wall consists of a core of covalently attached branched beta 1 3 glucan with 3 to 4% interchain and uh, chitin glucan and chitin uh, form interchain hydrogen bonds and uh, can assemble into fibrous microfibrils that form a basket like scaffold around the cell next is structure This cell wall is structured in different layers, where the innermost layer is more conserved structure, on which the uh, means remaining layers are deposited and can uh, vary between different species of fungi. You can see here the structural organization and composition of Candida albicans cell wall. This is cell wall and here cell membrane. So, inner layer. This is inner layer. of the cell wall so inner layer of cell wall in most fungi is composed of branched 13 beta g glucan uh, with both 16 beta g glucan and some of the chitin uh, connected to the non reducing ends of the 13 beta g glucan and an outer layer uh, of glycoproteins all these polymers are connected to one another building a strong network that prevents the release of glycoproteins to the extracellular environment so we will discuss all the constituents of cell wall one by one so first of all we'll start with the glucans glucan is the most important structural polysaccharides of the fungal cell wall and represent 50 to 60% of the dry weight of this structure most polymers of glucans are connected to 1 3 linkage uh, glucose uni uh, units means 65 to 90% although there are also glucans with beta 16 in um, candida but uh, uh, not in aspergillus or other species so beta 14 alpha 13 and alpha 14 links the beta 13 d glucan is the most important structural component of the wall to which other components of this structure are covalently linked the beta 13 d glucan is synthesized by a complex of enzymes located in the plasma membrane called glucan synthesis the genes then encoding beta 13 d glucans are Uh, FKS1 and FKS2 they were initially identified in Saccharomyces cerevisiae analogs of these genes are currently known in several um, uh, species of candida aspergillus etc disruption of one of these genes affects cell growth but elimination of both causes cell death the alpha 13 glucans is also a functional component uh, of the fungal cell wall and is synthesized by alpha glucan synthase next is chitin the chitin content of the fungal wall varies according to the morphological phases of uh, the fungus it represents 1 to 2% of the dry weight of yeast cell wall while in filamentous fungi it can reach up to 10 to 20% chitin is synthesized from the n acetyl glucosamine by the enzyme chitin synthase which deposits chitin polymers in the extracellular space next to the cytoplasmic membrane the chitin content of candida albicans hypha wall 
is three times higher than that of the yeast, while the chitin content of the mycelial phases of uh, uh, of um, uh, blastomyces species is 25 to 30 percent of that uh, yeast phase. Next is glycoproteins. Proteins compose 30 to 50 percent of the dry weight of fungal wall in yeast and 20 to 30 percent of the dry weight of the wall of filamentous fungi. 30 to 50 percent of dry weight of fungal wall in yeast and 20 to 30 percent of the dry weight of the wall of the filamentous fungi. So most proteins are associated to carbohydrates by O or N linkages resulting in glycoproteins. Cell wall proteins uh, we know have different functions including participation in the maintenance of uh, cellular shape, then adhesion processes, cellular protection against different substances, absorption of molecules, signal transmission and uh, synthesis and reorganization of uh, wall components. Next is melanin. Melanin is a pigment of high molecular weight that is negatively charged and uh, hydrophobic and insoluble in aqua solution and protects fungi against stress or uh, facilitating survival in the host. The fungi produce melanin by two routes. One from 1,8-dihydroxy nephthalene DHN intermediate and uh, from l 34 dihydroxyphenyl melanin. Melanin production contributes to fungal virulence, then improves resistance to environmental damage such as extreme temperature, UV light, and toxins, and it is uh, important for invasion and uh, dissemination. For example, in the case of Candida neoformans, melanin has been linked with the dissemination of yeast cells from uh, the lungs to the other organ. is known to influence the immune responses of the host and inhibit phagocytosis. Then uh, in aspergillus, melanin inhibit macrophag apoptosis that have uh, phagocytosed melan uh, melanized uh, conidia. So in this way, melanin contributes to fungal virulence and also improves the resistance to environmental damage. Thank you.